blessed evening to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion, the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Wednesday, 23rd week in ordinary time. Before we continue our celebration, let us acknowledge if we are sinners in order to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the divine word made flesh, splendor of the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God, Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory at the end of time with salvation for your people, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you of that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Hear, O oh daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with spun gold. 
in embroidered apparel, she is borne into the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The place of your fathers your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. So you have to examine your life deeply. Many of us, we are superficial. We do not think deeply about life. We do not examine it and reflect on it. As the Greeks said, gnote si auton. Know yourself. Many people do not even know who they are. They go through life, natutukumakae, natutulog, tapos mamamatay. You have to know who you are. You have to examine the world, the whole universe, and find your place in it. Find your sense of purpose. Discover the meaning of your life. Especially, since in the first reading, St. Paul told the Corinthians, the world in its present form is passing away. So if the world is passing away, how should we live? That's the most fundamental question. Paano ako dapat mabuhay kung lilipas lahat ito? Siguro yung 
mundo, matagal-tagal pa, ikaw, malapit ka ng lilipas. Lalo na yung mga matanda na nakagaya ko. For the world, in its present form, is passing away. So you examine your life and find out, decide on what the basic orientation of your life would be. On what should you base your fundamental option, your basic orientation, this wider perspective, so that you will find your sense of purpose. First, you have to decide whether there's a God or not. Fundamental option po, yeah. Including, what kind of God do you believe in? There are different conceptions of God. Second, you have to decide whether there is life after death. Fundamental option po, yeah. Many of us just say there is, but we live as if there is not. The third is whether the kind of God you believe in in eternity will reward the good and punish the wicked. Only when you have made this fundamental option will the gospel today make sense. Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. It's not a blessing to be poor. It's a difficult situation. But the gospel says, rejoice and leap for joy on that day when the Lord will come back and judge the living and the dead. According to what they did. Good will be rewarded. The sheep, because they fed the hungry, gave drink to the thirsty. To do it only during that day will the poor be blessed. Because then, on that day, the kingdom of God will be theirs. You are hungry now? That's a difficult situation. You will be satisfied once you have made a fundamental option that God exists, especially in the Christian religion, where God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God is a community. So if you are weeping now, on that day, you will laugh. When people hate you now, it's a very difficult situation. When they exclude you, insult you, cancel your Facebook account, unfriend you, even call you an evil person because of your faith, rejoice and leap for joy on that day. And that is why it's crucial, it's very important that you make the fundamental option with your whole being. Hindi lang isasabihin mo dahil lumaki ka na katoliko, ganito ang pananampalataya mo. You have to accept it in your full freedom and consciousness. And then, you live accordingly. And if you have made that fundamental option, the gospel is very logical. Today, if there is life everlasting, and good will be rewarded, and evil punished, you are rich now, you will be punished. You are filled now, you will be hungry. If you laugh now, you will grieve and weep. When they speak well of you now, that's how they treated the false prophets according to the Lord. So let us pray today during this Eucharist that we really have made a fundamental option and we live it accordingly. Sa sabuhay natin, ang ating desisyon, itong panukala ay yung batayang desisyon ng ating buhay na may Diyos, may buhay na malang hanggan, paparusahan ng mga masasama, gantimpalaan ng mabuti, dito sa kaharian ng Diyos sa kawalang hanggan. And then, you will live a very meaningful life because you have something to wait for. Bilyonaryo ka nga ngayon, yung naghihintay sa'yo. Pag nasa urn ka na, lalagay sa mamahaling kul- kulumbaryo dahil mayaman ka eh. Anong hinihintay mo? 
eternal darkness. Nabubuhay ka pa ng ganyan? Kaya lang, marami nga, unexamined life. Yung nakaugalian, yung mga sinasabi sa social media, doon na sila naniniwala. God exists. Eternal life is forever. Good will be rewarded. Evil will be punished forever. It needs grace. Kasi kung titignan mo, napakalakas nung sabi ni St. John, the world, the flesh, yung sarili nating karukukan, pinagtataksilan tayo ng sarili nating katawan. Yung iba ang inihingi niya. Hindi illogical. Hindi according to the fundamental option. Yung iba nga, nagsasabing may Diyos, pagkatapos nabubuhay naman na wala. The world, the flesh, and the devil conspire. Nag-a-alliance yan sila para tanggalin yung fundamental option mo. Para bulagin ka na huwag gumawa ng ganyang desisyon. Pamuhay ka. Magpakayaman ka. Kumain ka na kumain. Tumawa ka ngayon. Paghirapan mo na irirespeto ka ng maraming tao. Pag walang fundamental option na may Diyos, may buhay na walang hanggan, gagantipalaan ang mabuti parusahan ang masama. Kaya sabi ni Cardinal Newman, tatlo, ang lagi nating isa-isip. Life is short. Death is certain. Eternity is long. Pag yun, tumabu- tumag- tumagos sa kaliit-liitang himay-may ng puso mo, nag-fundamental option ka na. Yung katotohanan na yun. Life is short. For some, it's even shorter. Sanggol pa lang, namamatay na. Yung iba naman, minsan sumasobra ng 100 years old. Pag in-interview ng Facebook, maraming pagsisisi na sana ganito ginawa ko, sana ganyan. Walang fundamental option. Unexamined life. Life short. Death is certain. Eternity is long. We pray that the Holy Spirit will so fill us with His grace that we will live according to these truths, that we will have made a fundamental option so that we will discover why we are in this universe together with the stars and the galaxies and the planets and the comets. God exists. Eternity is forever. Good will be rewarded. Evil punished. So when the Son of Man, if you do all this according to the Son of Man, on account of the Son of Man, according to the Gospel, then kingdom of God will be ours. We will be satisfied. We will laugh. We will rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, God showers his blessings upon us as his sons and daughters. Sons and daughters of his kingdom. Let us pray therefore to our Father with sincere hearts to bless us. Let our response be, God of blessings, turn to us. God of blessings, turn to us. That under persecution, the church may hold fast to the faith and bring people together. We pray. God of blessings, turn to us. 
that the poor and the hungry may receive their feel through the sincere efforts of our leaders. We pray. God of blessings, turn to us. That believers who are hated, insulted, rejected, and abused may rejoice in the comfort of the kingdom awaiting them. We pray. God of blessings, turn to us that the sick and the elderly may feel secure by our love and care for them. We pray, God of blessings, turn to us, that the faithful departed may obtain the Lord's mercy through the help of our prayers. We pray, God of blessings, turn to us. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray, God of blessings, turn to us. Mighty God, shower us with your blessings so that we will live for you alone. Let our lives proclaim the happiness to which you call us for you are our Lord now and forever. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, <clears throat> who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us, Jesus Christ, your Son, the divine Word, as your Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, 
for the sick and poor sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that your kingdom is coming. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy to be glorified Lord our God because you love us and you always walk with us on the journey to the coming of your kingdom blessed indeed is your son the divine word who became a human being he is present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens scriptures and breaks the bread in the celebration the most holy Eucharist. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread, said the blessing. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, gave you thanks, Father. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, most holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom we have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work we love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation. Look with favor on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit we your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, perfect faith and charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own and invited to come to your kingdom. 
Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are heavily burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to in your hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in their resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly, earthly journey is over that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health with the sick, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you to Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven in the words Jesus, the divine word himself, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died on the cross so that we will gain life that will never end. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, to the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. 
Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise or petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reina de Mitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Must ascend it, go in peace to love and serve our eternal God. Thanks be to God. Ang pagmimisyon ay gawain katangian ng isang Kristiyano. 
sapagkat sinabi ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad, Go and make disciples of all nations. September 8, 1875, nang itatag ang misyonerong samahan ng Societas Verbi Divini o SVD. Kaya't ang buwan ng Setyembre ay buwan din ng pagtataas ng kamalayan sa diwa ng misyon. Hango rito, ngayong apat na Sabado ng September ay naghanda kami ng musical concert na pinamagatang Huni ng Misyon. Iniimbitahan po namin kayo sa online concert na ito para makibahagi, makiisa sa pagtataas ng ating kamalayang misyon. Bahagi rin po nito ang aming pag-raise ng funds para tulungan natin ang mga nagretirong mga misyonerong SVD sa anumang kanilang pangangailangan maari tayong makadugtong at makatulong. Muli po ang impitasyon ito para sa huni ng misyon. Ito po si Father Jerome Marquez, SVD.